All right, guys. So today we have a new uh, battery charger, discharger, balancer here. This is a really, this is a really old iCharger 106 B plus. I picked this up from a local uh, seller, uh, just like from online classifieds. Let's actually do a real test between this crappy Tenergy uh, charger that I got from was it from eBay or AliExpress? It's basically just one of those knockoff IMAX B6s. Same, same thing. Balance leads pretty light, whatever. Now this one does a charge current of 0.1 to 5 amps and does a discharge from 0.1 to 1 amp. So 5 amp charge, 1 amp discharge. This one here does a 0.05 to 10 amp and discharge 0.05 to 7 amp. So significantly better. That's all relative to the input power as well. So you're not gonna be able to get seven amps from an adapter that's only gonna be able to supply you three amps or five amps or whatever it is. Now that we've got that, I have a battery here that I just finished discharging. I won't tell you with which, with which one, but right now the current voltage of this battery is sitting at 3.47. It's actually under the nominal voltage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge First with the tenor, no, with the Tenergy, yeah, let's do the Tenergy, and then with the iCharger 106B. Now I'm already gonna say that this is light years better than this. I'll do multiple tests on this versus this, but we'll see the first thing is, let's take a battery that is below its nominal voltage and let's charge it. These things both in LiPo mode, they're sensitive to the battery, right? They, they, don't, wanna, they don't wanna kill the battery or anything like that. So let's see if I just, Plug this in here, and I say light. I have just a couple magnets here, so I'm gonna go positive to positive, and negative to negative, and I'm gonna say lipo charge, right? Lipo charge one amp, which we're gonna bring. We're gonna do both at three amps. Actually, no. Let's do both at 2.5 amps. One cell. It detects one cell, one cell, let's go. So right now it is charging at 1.1 amp and it's telling me it's gonna go to 4.2 volts. So I'm gonna leave this and we're gonna see what happens. How many milliamp hours it, it counts up and down and how long it takes to charge. If there's any interruptions, I will update the video, but I'm gonna let this just run for a little while. All right, so just a quick check in here, and we're about 40, what, 45 minutes in. And as you can see, we started out at 1.1 amp, I believe, or one amp. And now it scaled it back to 0.6 of an amp, and we've put in 571 milliamp hours. This battery truly has 2600, which I doubt. I don't know, about a quarter way there, uh, or a little bit less give or take, depending on the capacity of the battery. So just a quick, want to check in with you, seeing how long it's taking, and most importantly, how the, the, amp, the amperage dropped as it's charging, as the resistance becomes uh, greater in the battery, but also increasing our, our charge time. Just checking in on another quick update here. 146 minutes, We're scaled, we've um, scaled down to four, sorry, 0.4 of an amp. And according to this Tenergy, we've put in 1,485 milliamp hours. So hopefully we'll be done soon. And you know what, let's just see what the voltage reading on the battery is with the multimeter. Four volts. So we still have another 0.2 of a volt to go. So it looks like this battery might actually have, well, according to this thing, maybe about 2,000, 2,000 milliamp hours, which wouldn't be bad. See that this was taken out of a, an old laptop, so that's pretty good. Anyways, we'll, I'll check with you later. That'll be the last check-in for this charger. And then what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to discharge this guy back to where it was, because I'm keeping track. So we need to discharge it back to 4.7 volt. Um, so we're gonna have to figure out, should we discharge it with this or should we discharge it with this? Maybe we should just discharge it with this and just be done with this guy and as a discharge chest and then start the charge process with this, see what it ramps down to and charge it back up with this guy. Okay, looks like the charging finally ended here. As you can see, it's flashing full. So let me just write that down. That took 214 minutes. 
It's supposed to charge it to 4.2 volts. I can tell you right now that it has not done that. I'm sure of it. So let's see, 4.02. It's a lot lower than you would ever want it. Like I said, you don't have to charge to 4.2, but you want to charge to at least 4.1. That's that. Problem now is if I do a discharge test against versus this guy, we're not really discharging at four, from 4.2. We're discharging 4.02. I'm not sure what to do now. But this is part of the issue here, is that 4.2 volts, 4.02 volts when it's actually charged when you're checking it with a meter. So that's one of the reasons why you don't want to buy one of these. I mean, I have one of these because when I first started out, I'm just, I was just screwing around. But now that I'm getting a little bit more serious, uh, you know, you can see why you're not going to really want one of these for the long term. I think what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to discharge using this and we'll keep going. So I'm going to back out of here. I'm going to go into discharge, one cell at one amp, which is the max. And, and there it goes. And it does look like it's discharging at one amp. Check that. DC, zero, and I don't know if you can see that, but the meter's reading about 0.91, so 900 milliamps. This, there's a little bit of give here in this meter, so yeah, it's about it's about one amp, give or take. So we will come back and we will start the charge with the protect with the eye charger and then the discharge, and we'll see how much more how much more accurate, hopefully, this will be than this. One other thing here to note: you can see that the this it's now reading the voltage of the battery and it's saying it's 3.19. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test voltage now that the voltage is 3.80. I, I actually, I don't know if that's what it's going to charge it down to. I think it said 3.0. So I'm not sure what, it's hard to know what, what's representing what here. So we're just going to let it go. We know what's at 3.8 now. We know that it charged to, it put 1,851 milliamp hours of capacity, according to this thing, in the battery. It took 214 minutes and it's charging, started at 1.1 amps and fell all the way down to 0.3 before it told us it was finished. This battery is actually still pretty good. I just wanna do a voltage reading because I think this thing is gonna stop discharging very shortly, even though it's only 24 minutes in and it's only discharged about 410 milliamp hours because I can see the volt, its voltage reading here is at 3.03 or 3.04. And once it hits a certain threshold, it's gonna think it's hit that threshold and stop. But just to let you guys know, just to let you guys see, the voltage actually is still 3.68 on the battery. This is reporting 3.04. So there's a huge discrepancy between what the actual voltage is and what this thing is reporting. So I'm gonna let this go, keep going, and I will I will start recording again when it stops. Just it just beeped and said end, and it says 3.00, it reached 3.00 volts at 561 milliamp hours. We know that's a total, oh shit, lie, because battery is actually at 3.79. And I'm not sure about this one, but that this also might be true. This is why with these cheap chargers, you have to go into nickel metal, uh, nickel cadmium setting and discharge that way. So there's no way I'm gonna be able to discharge this ba this battery in LiPo mode on this charger. It's always gonna hit three, it's always gonna think it's gonna hit three volts and I'm gonna, it's gonna end the charge. So I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna go into nickel cadmium. I'm gonna go into discharge and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna discharge at, oh, I can only discharge at one amp. Discharge it to one volt. But this is actually a skewed setting because one volt isn't going to be reflective of the voltage of this battery. You'll, you'll, you'll see. And it's going to pick up where it left off here. You can already see, you know, the voltage it thinks it's three volt, like 2.9 something volts. So we'll let that run. At this point, I just want to see how many milliamp hours uh, it says it's with it's discharged until we hit about 3.47 like we did on the other charger. So we'll let that run. I kind of screwed that one up. I hit the button before I wrote it down and turned on the camera. The battery is now at 3.2 volts, so a little bit lower than it was before. 
and according to the charger, you guys didn't see this, but it would pull another 1,387 milliamps plus the existing 561. It's about 1,900, 1,950 milliamp hours. This battery is, yeah, currently at 3.2. 3.3, so it's 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 moving back up, which is good, which means it's a it's a decent battery, and we pulled about two amp hours out of it from being charged from 4.02. So I'm sure that this battery almost has its almost almost has its entire capacity uh, within it at 20 2600 milliamp hours. I would say it probably has somewhere between 2200 and 2400. So what we're going to do next is we're going to attach it to the eye charger now. And we're going to try it with the same settings we did with Energy. Charge it at 2.5 amps and see how many milliamp hours it puts in and how long it takes. <laughs> 